You are done with the hard work on the body, but there are still a few things to iron out. First, you have mostly worked on one side of the body from the waist up, so you want to mirror all the skin data to the other side. This of course is done by entering mirror mode and then using the appropriate mirror tool. In this case, you want to use the paste blue to green verts option to transfer vertex data from the character's left side to its right side. Exit mirror mode when done. If you want, exit edit envelopes mode altogether and rotate a few bones on the character's right side to ensure all is OK. Actually, now that you're mostly done with the body skinning, it would be a good idea to reset the animation length. Set it back to what you started with, frame 0 to 2600, to view the full extent of the animation. If there are any last minute adjustments, go ahead and do them now. For example, there are a couple of vertices near the center of mass that seem to have more pull to one side whereas they should be centered. Select them individually and use the Weight Tool dialog to adjust the values. As explained in an earlier section, select the middle bone, right thigh, and set it to 1 or 100%. Select the last bone, left thigh, and set it to 0.5 or 50%. Now select the first bone, the pelvis bone, and give it back its original value, which in this case was about 0.8 or 80%. Repeat the procedure with any center vertices that may have drifted to one side or the other. Finally, remember that all the work that you have done was done on the proxy character, the one you have made symmetrical to make your work a bit easier. Now you need to transfer all that work to the original mesh, the one with the shirt sticking out. Unhide the original zombie mesh object. If you wish, change the wire color on one or the other mesh to differentiate them. Select the original zombie mesh object and apply a skin wrap modifier to it. Set the deformation engine to face deformation and the fall off to its smallest possible value of 0.001. Click the Add button and then click the proxy mesh in the viewport. After a few seconds, the data is transposed from one object to the other. Click Add again to cancel that mode. Now select the proxy mesh and hide it. You could actually delete it at this time, but better keep it hidden for now until you are sure you don't need it as a backup. Scrub the animation. For the most part, it should be perfect in every way as the only differences ought to be around the right side of the waist. For that area, you may need a bit of fine-tuning. Click the Convert to Skin button so you may have control over the skinning of the mesh. This creates a new skin modifier on top of the stack and disables the skin wrap modifier underneath. In fact, select the skin wrap modifier and delete it. Go back up to the skin level and enter Edit Envelopes mode. The new skin modifier takes into account all the bones used on the proxy and the vertex weights are transferred. However, you need to tell it again you want to work in vertex mode, that you need not display the envelopes, and that the bone effect limit is restricted to four bones. Once this is done, you can now select individual vertices on the shirt's exposed part and weight them accordingly.
The skinning of the body is now complete. You still need to skin the head, but before you get to that, I'd like to cover a little tip that could prove extremely useful. You may have noticed in the advanced parameters rollout two save and load buttons. These enable you to save envelope data and reload it at a later time. While useful, this method is mostly adaptable to save and load envelopes globally for the whole character. The tip you will learn about in the next movie shows you how to save vertex skin data and only on areas that you choose.